Hi guys, on my list of things to do, I've got a request here from Yvonne Patawaran to do a spud gun. Um, bearing in mind I can buy them in my bargain store for a pound or less, this is just an exercise in can you do it rather than can you make a cheap one. So I've got a few options here. Got a bicycle pump, which I could just put a tube in the end. I seem to remember from my youth that used to work for spud guns. I've got a cake decorating set here. That's got a rather interesting nozzle there that might work. Very cheap though, I should think that will fall apart when I try and use it. And then another option is to use this. Uh, surface cleanser pump and see if I can get that to pump out a bit of potato so I'll have a look at all three and see what we can do got a small potato here that I'll just slice it's that about quarter of an inch thick so I'll use that as my tester. This is a couple of my storage boxes where I collect all sorts of odds and ends. These particular ones have bits of plastic tubing in them. So I'll see if I can find any of these that will work for the muzzle or tube for the potato gun. Right, this little bit of plastic looks like the end of a ball pen or maybe even a propelling pencil. If I just push that in there, I'll see if I can shoot a bit of potato out. So a bit of potato in there. Well, that went. <laughs> I have no idea where it went. Shot round the room. Just try a bit of aluminium can as a target. Well that worked, there's our little bit of potato, found it this time. So that's our simplest I think, we'll move on to the next one, Let's see what we can do with a cake decorating set. This is very lightweight so I have no idea if it will survive the test. I do rather like the look of that, but I think I'll have to cut it off flush. Doesn't feel like there's very much pressure in there though. I've cut the end off the tube and I've actually trimmed it up a little bit to give it a bit of a an edge that I can dig into the potato. So that's filled it with potato. But I can feel already there's there's no pressure in there. So I'm gonna have to wrap some tape or something around there to increase its diameter and make it a better fit. There I've wrapped some tape around it to give it a better seal. That tube is not a constant diameter. It's a bit thicker there and it's a bit thicker there. And in the middle it's a bit looser. Anyway, let's see what we can do. I would say, well, it works, but it's 
it's probably the least successful. In fact, that plunger sticks when it gets right down to the end. I can push it back, but it's that's not very successful. Can't recommend that one. So now we'll see if there's anything we can do with this. Well, that's the actual pump unit. So I'll have to see if I can find some sort of tube that will fit into there. So I'll go through my bits box. not got enough power to actually shoot it out. Oh, it went eventually. It did shoot it out eventually. Let's try that again. Try and aim it this time. Yep, it worked. <laughs> Only just, but it worked. So there we go. Three different versions of a homemade spud gun. The most powerful was that one. That one I would think would be quite unreliable. That one was fun. Not very efficient, but it, it did work might find if you find a different pump from a different um, spray, whatever that one was, surface cleanser, that one, you might be able to find a more powerful one that does the same job. But it did work eventually. As I say, not particularly efficient. But it worked. So there we go. Hope that uh, pleases you, Yvonne. I think that's as far as I'll go. I don't like to make anything that could be construed to be a weapon, but I think at this level, that's okay. <laughs>